All right, after that performance on the weekly one-shot, we might as well get used to spinning wheels. We're back with Unlucky Luca and the Wheel of Misfortune. Uh, things have gone, I don't know, surprisingly lucky for our Unlucky Luca. We're alive, we're fairly stable, and we're slowly but surely gobbling up northern Italy. Uh, we had some plans, I'm sure. I've forgotten what most of them were. But things are a bit messed up around us, with Castile and France being best friends forever despite the inheritance, and an absolutely pathetic Austria who lost the Emperorship and hasn't expanded one bit whilst getting no personal unions. What a travesty. Now, as I said, this is the Wheel of Misfortune, so what we do every five years is we spin the wheel. We're going to give it one example spin so people know what we're talking about. That's if I can dig it up. Where are you, my wheel? Ah, there we go. Round and round it goes. It has some bad things, some really bad things, and some abusively bad things on the wheel. Uh, but some of the brighter ones are actually good for us. It's not so likely that it lands on them, but if it did, then... No, no. We'd have this, for example, all enemies getting a core on our wealthiest province. But like I said, that is the example spin, and that is what we will do each uh, five years. I can't remember what the most recent spin we landed on was. It was probably the one where we gave away all of our money. That was pretty good. Jake rigged the wheel to bear again. No. Oh yeah, it's worth noting that I did actually change what's on the Wheel of Misfortune, as well as uh, upping some of the chances especially for bad things because lots of people put in recommendations for what should go on the wheel I wanted to put in most of them but it seems the wheel starts bugging out when you put more than 50 on them so 50 is what we have and I'm sure there are people that can throw the link for the uh, wheel of misfortune entries around in chat but enough of that we can get on with our game that is we would if we had any idea what's going on I certainly don't Aggressive expansion for me has been dribbling away quite nicely, I think. Okay, no, it's it's just a hair below 50 around here. Fair enough. I want to gobble up the rest of Venice, and that truce will be going away in... What's even my flag here? Oh! It's going to go away in 1508, but I also want to carve up Milan. And my truce with them goes away in right now. However, I will strike Milan when their truce with their neighbours is up. Uh, particularly their truce with Manly Mantua in 1511, and Savoy in also 1511. I have a plan for them that involves basically them disappearing, that's the hope. So we'll see what happens then. Otherwise, we can just unpause and let the time roll forward. I get rid of the timer off my screen as well, because it's just reminding me of my performance in that... Uh, Weekly one-shot. It was really enjoyable though, but uh, I should not have uh, sandbagged so much so early. Now our beloved age will be ending not too long for now because the Reformation has struck. I really like getting the reduced aggressive expansion. Sadly that will not be in effect when I deal with Milan, but I should be able to make use of it against Venice. Austria decided to start claiming our land, but we have some pretty good friends. We got Hungary, Switzerland, Castile, and the Pope himself. I'm going to deal with the Pope at some point because, geez, he does not like me. He really wants my subjects' lands. Interestingly, so do I. I want to integrate Florence as soon as I can. That's just not right now. I need to get that opinion much higher than it is, and I could only get it currently to about... Well, not what it is now. Are you going Protestant? You know, I think I'm going to stick to Catholicism. Which means, uh, oddly enough, that I hope the Protestant R Reformation does really well. Because along with my ideas and my, where I'm situated, I'm in a good place to milk the papacy as hard as I can. And I'm even going to spend a bit of this towards becoming a Korea controller, because we've got a reasonable chance at it. 9%, I'll take that. Lots of influence, a couple of cardinals. Hell, you know, I'll spend a bit more than that if it gets me a reasonable shot at it. Look at that, on par with France. Uh, ugh. Being Republic truly is suffering sometimes. Bring on that inflation. Could pay it down, but where were we at? We've got innovative ideas and influence ideas because we've been rolling for our ideas. We've been rolling for lots of things in this campaign. 
and hemorrhaging points left and right. No military ideas, sadly, so we might as well keep up to up to date with our mill tech. It's dangerous with spending your points because you never know when the uh, the wheel of misfortune is going to come and take all your manpower or all your monarch points or or maybe even give you some if you're truly lucky. What is simply fake out on the wheel? A surprise? Well, we'll be faking out. We've had plenty of those before, so you should know what they are. Right. Being Protestant would mean less negatives from eating Rome. Rome is pretty good, especially when it has paper and, you know, everything else going for it. But I think we can make better use of Rome. If you don't form Italy, won't you constantly have a negative modifier on being Catholic and owning Rome? Yeah. Uh, does the... Achievement require you to stay, Luca? Not that I would form Italy. I usually like holding on to my starting tag. But I do wonder. So we're drilling away because I want a great army, but I really want to bulk up that professionalism. We're all the way at force limit two. Good to see even our subject is doing that. Uh, we developed him so much there's no way he wants to break free from us, but that would change in about 20 years. I really need to gobble Florence up when I can. Now, Memmingren's lost it to Austria, but Austria's just not taking land. This balanced ruler doesn't really want much land, except mine, of course. But, you know, I would welcome him attacking me. I'm not afraid of Silesia or Brandenburg. Hungary would be on my side, and Savoy, well, they could eat a whole load of Castile, so that's okay. Will you annex Florence? Absolutely. They have so much development that deserves to be mine, and it's part of my capital state as well, so... Heck yes to that. Just want to eat up more Venice. It's tempting to take Crete. Not so tempting when you think that the Ottomans probably want it, but... Uh, it is Catholic, and it is good development. The trading post doesn't mean much to me, but... Yeah, I'm kind of tempted by Crete. It's far away from uh, most people, so the aggressive expansion just wouldn't quite be there. So the Pope's already enjoying a bit of Protestantism. Odd fellow, really. I hope he doesn't keep spreading it down here. Actually, this is a bit of a lackluster uh, reformation so far, but it's early days. It's only been a year. Luca's color is already classic. Paradox Italian green. No need to tag switch. I just don't like tag switching generally. I'd love to expand a lot more around here, but I simply do not have the aggressive expansion leeway. Conquering Parma is something I absolutely want to do, but not for myself. Becoming Papal Controller. This mission should really change, shouldn't it? That's not even a very good uh, reward for me since I am a Republic. However, we had a nice young guy, even if he is Craven. We are going to pump everything we can out of his stats. Liking that Jewish advisor of mine as well. It's tempting to promote him given my treasury and my love of points around here. But he's also 53, so he's got a reasonable chance of dying. What I should also do, though, is consider investing in my country, especially in these uh, excellent trade good provinces, like paper, especially paper, salt. Big reason for that being uh, my money can just be whisked away like that. Then again, so can my provinces. But at least when things are built, I can uh, take them back. Once again, Austria is just demanding money here. He's not having much ambition. Uh, not that I can speak much. You know, I'm in a position to take Urbino if I really want them. Uh, I'm not actually too far away from being able to vassalize them. But I don't because the Pope would hate my guts. He already really wants uh, Arezzo because it's it would connect his provinces up. The requirement requires you to... Uh, the achievement requires you to stay Luca, says Max. Well, that answers questions for me, then. I simply cannot form Rome. Uh, form Italy, rather. I wouldn't mind you dying then, and me, of course, securing the uh, Curia for myself. Then again, there's lots of different actions you can do with the papal points, so I want to squeeze those out as much as I can, especially considering that my ideas from the very start give me extra papal influence to a year. Pop that on top of everything else and I'm a very happy man gaining it. If the Pope liked me a bit better, then uh, 
all the stronger for me, but they don't. So actually there's not too much for me to do at this point. I need to let time pass. I need to consume the rest of Venice because I want that sweet land for myself. And I gotta find opportunity to integrate Florence. I think from sending them money I can only... Ooh, I can get them to just about 160 here. I can get another 9 on top of that. That's 156. 176. 18 something. I'm close. I'm pretty close to getting them up there. Musket or bow. I don't want extra tech cost here. Can I tech up right now? I don't want to lose that tradition either because I certainly don't have a lot of it. Grand Jester's not looking too hot. Oh well, time for you guys to retire. Just like my Jewish natural scientist, he bit the dust. Uh, oh well, make money, money, make. You should fully annex Florence before you take more aggressive expansion, or it should start it. Uh, okay, Savoy's been excommunicated, which is pretty awesome. 21 year old ruler, nice and young, so uh, ripe to take lands off of. Sadly, I'm not in a position to be doing that. Richt, no. Poland should be our friend, said whoever. I like to keep a free slot on my rivals, even if it does cost me for not having enough rivals. Okay, my uh, things are going up and up with you. Colonialism has now been brought to this world. It's probably going to take a while to spread towards me, but Italy is very well situated for getting institutions. It's also a good opportunity for me to tech up whilst I can before everything else makes it too expensive. I don't need these dip points now, do I? Unjustified demands and vassal limit contribution aren't going to help me out that much right now. But that scientific revolution does. Sure, it's expensive, but I'll take it. I'll take it all. Mm, perhaps not this. There's, uh, there's better things I can do. So about that institution, it's in Murica. And actually that's a great place to uh, to come over to us nice and quickly. So here it is, going by two per month here, and it's going to spread along here, here, and then here. Or even better, if it's in Murica, Aragon will quickly get it, it'll spread here, and then to us over here. Everybody wins, especially us. I really need to get that Florentine opinion of me up. I can get another 12, 50, 60, 70, 80, we're so close. Okay, Austria, have, uh, they can take no more. They decided to expand and expand hard. And lucky for them, not too much aggressive expansion. But I could do with a weaker Austria, because uh, Sud Tyrol is clearly part of Italy. It is Venetian culture, after all. So it will be mine. Everybody's drinking up their, uh, their golden age. I could as well, but I'm not really wanting to do that right now. Probably want to take it when I can squeeze the most out of the absolutism. Those buildings are done. Could I get better taxation? I will in Ferrara, that's for sure. The rest can stay. I like having a good amount of money. Just ready to spend on whatever. Jake, te tech up and mill in case the wheel eats your mill. I can't always be scared of the, the wheel eating everything. Besides... Those, uh, those mill... P oh, hang on, it's Tech 9. It's, uh... Tech 9 is a huge one. I can't afford to just let that one slip by. It costs 358. Well, what I can also do is strengthen my government a bit, because it's good to keep that up. Power projection helping us out too. I want to keep it high, so maybe I shouldn't just be losing it to lack of rivals so simply. Why am I keeping this... Fort active. I don't need it active right now. can get that active later on, even if the army tradition is kind of helpful. Alright, I had a great plan in my head and it instantly just melted away. I think it was something to do with integrating you. I can get you inside me pretty easily at the turn of the year, I think. I'll just throw you a nice gift and start eating you up. Expensive though it may be, I mean it's going to be 516 bird mana, as they call it. 
No, no reformation for me, but looks like reformation's taken off pretty well here. We got two centers of it up north. Where's the other one gonna be? Oh, there's that military power I was looking for. Oh, but it's also there. And I kinda need dip. Said no one ever. Let's take that mill power. And mill tech cost reduction. My oh my. How long does that last again? Ten years. That's fine. We'll be taken up within the next ten years. But I will also keep that government nice and st Well, 80 is a fine place to be. How much uh, Republican tradition do you get with strength in government? Asks Jake Lone. You get three. It's pretty good if you use it well. Alright, let's improve those relations as high as we can. Chuck him a gift. In fact, a gift here is all we need. Hopefully it's not too expensive. He is kind of rich. Whoopsie doodle. Oh, oh, Jesus, that's expensive. I can get him up by 24. Well, that's what we're going to do. 150 ducats for that. It's kind of crazy. Just one more needed. And there we go. That's our 190. And you're getting inside of me. All done. All done. So I can shake that ahead of time next year, and then our mill tech will be nice and relatively cheap. Now institution tech penalty is buffing that up, but that's okay. I can also go for an ability. I do like free war taxes. I also like extra fighting ability. Transfer subject is really powerful, but I've not been using it. There aren't people around me with subjects that I could make such good use of with that. Austria, maybe, but I'm not interested in going outside of where I am. So with that in mind, I think we'll take our free war taxes. They're my favorite war taxes. I could start killing uh, Savoy pretty soon, and of course Bosnia, but we won't. Protestantism's taking over more and more Catholic countries. There are few people who observe Lent. And now fish demand has crumbled. Fortunately, we don't pro provide any fish. And we won't even when our subject becomes part of us. Excellent. Simply excellent. The next year is the wheel turn, though. I'm only slightly a wise choice. We are now the papal controller. Hell yes. Free manpower, papal controller, and what's this? Austria hating us. To shreds, you say. But uh, Treviso could alternatively give us a lot more goods produced, which, you know, that speaks to me. That speaks very nicely to me. Hmm. Okay, you are right about uh, the wheel spinning and potentially eating my everything. But I'm gonna take it. So that gives us an extra diplomat, which is kind of handy if I want to get more claims. It's difficult to think what I would claim at this point. Sure, I want Urbino, but I also kind of want the Pope not to hate me just yet. I need to unite North Italy at this rate, which means war with Milan. And that claim I have on Venice isn't going anywhere anytime soon. So I think we're okay. Evansi is asking if they've missed much. Now nah, I've only been at EU4 for about 10 minutes or so. All right, where's my head at? Conquer Sud Tyrol. You know I want to, but he has quite a few friends here. Not Bavaria on his side, certainly not. But if there were other people that really wanted Austria dead and would sign up, that would be great. Sadly, his ally is my ally over in Hungary. So we're not going down that path. Sud Tyrol will be ours, just not today. In fact, none of these things are likely to happen. Okay. But I still should be putting that diplomat on something. Does anybody particularly find themselves cheesed off by me. <laughs> Good ally, Mantua. That was an idea of mine for a while. Don't know what I did with it. I could consider vassalizing Urbino and consuming them. So I will. Let's improve some relations there. 
As papal controller, it's only fair to make claims on the Pope. Actually, it's only fair to excommunicate anybody and everybody. So let's have a look at those papal actions that we have now. Hmm. We cannot excommunicate rulers left and right. We must wait at least until September 1505. And his opinion of the Pope is too, uh, too good. Alright, so probably aren't able to excommunicate too many people. We can have a quick look here. Well, we don't have any diplomats to send anyway, but... Oh yeah, and the other thing gets in the way of that. Well, never mind for now. But people's time will come. We'll strengthen that government a touch more. It's going to be even better when you get absolutism for that, even if we are a disgusting republic. And there we go, we're in 1505, which means... As the title of this whole stream suggests, it's time to spin the Wheel of Misfortune. So, round and round and round it goes. It would be nice to me to land on green, it would be horrible to land anywhere else. It would be the absolute worst if it lands on Bear Has Landed. This is looking a bit dark red. Oh my, oh my. Embargo the current emperor forever. We've had this one before. So away you go. We did it on Austria before. It's no big deal since they're our rival now. But the emperor is Bavaria. So we have to slap one on him forever. Well, fortunately our diplomat is back. And, you know, you got to do what the wheel says immediately. And if it's not possible, then you got to spin it again. So what am I looking at here? Economic, issue embargo, and we got to eat that trade efficiency hit for the rest of time. Could have been a lot worse. Especially since it was next to some really dark red, uh, dark red things. Uh, so about summoning the bear, I realized, you know, the bear chances are kind of low here. Would be exciting if he appeared, but I want to leave it to chance. Still, every uh, everything, if we bring the wheel back... Uh, hold on, I got a better way to do that, so we can actually see the wheel a bit better. I'm using wheeldecide.com, so uh, credit where credit's due for them. Uh, yes, yeah, so where even is it on this? Um, ah yes, Bear Has Landed I think is the blue one over at about 4 o'clock. I'm going to make that bigger in terms of weight. For everybody that uh, sends me a picture of their summoning for the bear. Maybe you make a little origami pair, uh, bear. Maybe you show me some uh, actual shrine you've built towards a bear. But depending on how good it is, I will up the weight for it. And who knows, it might take over most of the wheel if I get some good ones. Uh, so that's how we're going to do it with that. Just a bit of fun. Fun for me, right? Because, yeah, it would be exciting to see the bearers landed. Otherwise, I'm just going to smoke through this campaign just like I did with the weekly one-shot. Thank you for existing, says Shinzo, please. Uh, oh, ooh. That's pretty bad. Diplomatic annexation cost going up for 10 years is going to make you more expensive by 50 dip and take longer. Yeah, just puts it down by a year and costs me a bit extra. I guess that's not too bad. Okay, what else is there to consider? The fact that I can get this really cheaply instead of really expensively. Because you need that Tech 9 when you're going around here. Well, let's have full offense from you, Reformed Galilea Infantry. And soon we'll get some actual good horses. Alright, all is relatively well. I do need to keep those good relations with the Pope, though. It's good for many reasons. It also gives you extra papal, uh, papal influence. Speaking of, I should invest to actually try to make myself that, uh, that Pope controller. We'll invest a little bit in it. Give it a couple of clicks each time. Yeah. Feels pretty damn good being in control. Soviet's asking how often the wheel will spin. It's every five years. Maybe I should have put that in the title, but oh well. Mm. 
I'm glad we stopped getting uh, pirated there, and pretty soon we should have even better professionalism. We'll give it about a year, and then we can refill the garrison, but uh, more importantly in my eyes, it's just our troops getting stronger. How do we compare with many others? Army quality. Uh, looking pretty damn good. We've been investing a lot of it and making some clever choices. Truce is up. Right, Savoy duking it out with Genoa might be important to us. Hmm, it's actually kind of bad that he's at war with Mantua. I didn't want that. But he's bringing in Provence as well. I think Genoa's goose is cooked, but I'm not in a good position to eat him up for myself, because as we touched on before, aggressive expansion is pretty high around here. Pretty damn high. Even Venezia giving me the goods produced. Thank you kindly. Although trade power might be better here. I mean, just how much of that trade power comes from Venice. We have... Uh, well, we have 80 here. Provinces, 64. Hmm, both could be good. I don't honestly know which is going to be better. But there's no unrest here anyway. But there might be unrest in the future. I'm going to take a chance on... God, jeez, I genuinely have no idea. Well, competition is good for everybody. Give me that dosh. Five point one five. Okay, I think I made the right choice there. That costly embargo hurts, though. Do you have the trade power increasing edict in Venice? Uh, no, I have the Euro law because I do not want to see any revolts around here. It is costing me an arm and a leg in maintenance, but that I suppose is okay for now. So, people wanting access, I don't have a problem giving it. Mm. My idea was to crush Milan when uh, when their truce was up with Savoy and Mantua. And then one or the other would step on Milan. And I'm still going to go with that. But first, I wish to destroy Venice. As everybody, whoever existed, has wanted to. Panama's, uh, Parma, rather, is no longer rightfully ours. Uh, I have a thing or two to say about that. It totally is. So get that spy network back, please. Have you accepted the Venetian culture? I don't want to accept any of the Italian cultures, because when I reach Empire rank, I will auto-accept all of them. Currently, they're brother cultures anyway, which gives you a nice bonus. Switzerland, the Swiss reconquest of Wallace. So you, too, wish to fight Savoy. And you brought in France. Well, I guess I don't have anything to worry about in that case, but I want Savoy to be strong to destroy Milan. So, don't know what to make of that, personally. I mean, of course, I'm going to join... Oh, wait, Savoy is allied with Austria. So you are also at war with the Emperor. Did I ever tell you that I want Sud to... Ro no, that would kill, kill me with aggressive expansion. But I really should take good care of myself here. This could hurt a lot. Well, I should be ruling the seas here, so I should be safe here, but... When are you ever truly sure? They're only just worthy of our support. Okay, well, I mean, we have this one in the bag, but... It kind of throws a spanner in the works for my plans. That's okay, though. Always happens. Milan is already destroyed. Don't be a pansy. No, I have bigger plans for them. Bigger than you're probably thinking. Alright, so I took you guys off Mothball. You guys are regenerating as well. You're all fully ready to rock and roll. You even have a cannon, which is something I don't often do. Uh, why don't I say that I really want this land as well? I'm a little scared that he would actually give it to me, and that would be double aggressive expansion for non-co-belligerent, which isn't so great, so let's try and not go that way, instead just watch him die. Sienna no longer a claim either, i got no problem losing claims on my own subject here. It's kind of good, if anything. 
But uh, I don't like seeing all these Austrians rolling about. Perhaps I should have left myself in a less, uh, less troublesome area than Venice itself. Because look, they're watching over it. And it never got all of its garrison back. Garrison's only 360. Yeah, I mean, they're busy carving up Savoy, but uh, I don't want to be carved up myself here. Regardless, I can still pop out and defend, uh, or rather protect my people in Venice, but this isn't ideal for me. Vassalize Mantua. Again, not quite what I'm looking for. Truthfully, I want to vassalize Milan. That would be creme de la creme. I should, however, be making good use of those free war taxes. Thanks for the uh, the reminder there. Ever useful. It's an unusual feeling having France involved in one of my wars, especially since I'm not allowed to ever ally them. In hindsight, Jake should have trapped Austria in Venice, not himself. Ha, I'm not trapped. I'm simply waiting for the uh, the correct moment to come and lay the smack down on them. Besides, I have naval superiority. I can ship myself around as and where and when I want. Who are we at war with, anyway? Ah, various people. But it's no big deal. I'm sure we'll be fine. Unless they separate piece me out and give away my land, that would be really sad. But in 1508, I do need to make my move on Venice, so this war can't weigh me down too much. Don't like having inflation above 5, so goodbye inflation. In fact, isn't there a Pope man that can help me out with that? Would also reduce interest, and in that, that certainly does not interest me so much. Do I need two cannons to make an artillery barrage? I forget. Might be an idea to have an extra one so I'm in a position to tear it down. Or, 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 that'll happen. He suddenly realized there are other threats out there. So yeah, sometimes you just need to relax. Things will work just swimmingly around you. Still need to crush Venice though. Even Muscovy's enjoying their golden era, Hungary's enjoying their golden era of rebellion. Volhynians, Polotskians, and Kievians all are rising up. Jake, try talking to your office of national statistics. Maybe you'll convince them that they were overestimating inflation for a couple of years. Uh, that's ooh, no more conquest on my own subject is nice. Get them integrated as quick as we can. 1511. So there's that fight that I should probably get myself involved in. It's kind of good for me if it goes on a bit longer. I need to show the world what I'm made of. Get that sweet participation. Ah, oh, man. My participation medal's been ruined. I mean, am I even participating at this rate? Yeah, 16%, probably courtesy of my own subject, but I don't mind his troops getting up utterly mangled. Is this a French alliance? Where's the Jake I once knew? I'm not allied with France, heavens no. This is just some uh, third party nonsense happening here. I'm feeling the pain of lack of uh, rivals though, I should fix that at some point. I gotta move on Venice before that wheel comes and uh, decides otherwise. Venice are jacked up for the occasion, though. Crete's such a good province. Oh, it's so tempting to go and murder you. Especially if Australians move away. No, they want to stay close. Jack 
just want my participation medal. Is that too much to ask? That doesn't matter, Savoy is getting ravaged here. It's kind of a shame Switzerland taking any of this land because it all is rightfully Italian. So it's something I'm going to want someday at least. Alright, participation medal time. Show him what we're made of. Just brutalize him. We get the advantage of terrain, but uh, boy, those rolls not looking so good for us. Perhaps we should just get back to training. Training's good. Austria has a bigger fleet than I thought. I mean, it's no match for my fleet, but it's still bigger than I imagined. Alright, Savoy's feeling the burn here. And I am feeling an amazing leader right here. 666. Six, six. He may be craven, but 53 is pretty young for a Republican ruler. How was the PDX party? It was a conference. Although, yeah, there was a party there because we party hard. It was really good. Really, really good. What is it we say? We work hard, but we play hard. Alright, this is all nice and chill, but Venice has seriously got to die, and I have actually got to remember about staking my claims around here. Subject will be inside me soon, but how's this gonna go? It's not much point smashing you to pieces if I'm not getting what I'm after here. Mm, and Mantua has to want a bunch of land too. Okay, and Milan needs to have no friends. Also good, they're not guaranteed either. Munster is friendly with them, but Munster is tiny and pathetic, and, uh, and I see the old map we have here. Just wait until 120. What's it? Get those. Get those overhauls. Did Spain inherit Burgundy? Yes, they did. And they're looking pretty chipper for it. At least we just sit back making money during this time. And they're too scared to commit to these sieges with my incredible army right here staring them down. My army could do with more anything. Probably an extra cannon, just to help with sieges and such. Milan decides to insult us. Are they a buffoon? No, no they're not. They just hate me. Does 125 have a release date yet? No. No, it does not. Right, it's... I don't know why I'm improving relations with you, because I hate you, so... Uh come back here, whilst I consider how best to kill you. July this year, you gotta go. Now, I could peace out here, but I'd lose a lot of trust with people. And goodbye manpower. I could do the little trick to save it, so I don't see a good reason not to. Gotta think of how to, how to fix that. I don't really like it. Now, Venice... I wonder if you would give military access to uh, Austria. Domineering and friendly, so you probably would. Maybe I should just not be so scared and go and destroy you. Or, alternatively, I just take a boat. Take a boat over to Crete and kill you. That seems like a good idea. Glad I thought of it. I don't need a lot of people over in Crete, right? We'll scout it out. Mm, I should be getting my participation medal over there. France is already rolling on in, but no, nah, I'm busy drilling. I got more important things to do than actually help people in this war. But uh, Florence is there. They're representing. <laughs> of course we win. There's never any doubt. Alright, so Crete is just sitting there waiting to be taken. We'll have a, a unit over there to just drop on it, and the rest will take over Venice proper. I guess two units, since that'll make it easier. We'll stop training. Start killing.
they can't block me here since, well, you know, I control both sides of this straight. And of course we're going to keep our war taxes going. Why would we not? We've got a couple of free diplomats, which is never good. I guess I should foster good relations with people that mean a lot to me, such as Castile. And the other guy's a wild card ready to annihilate our friends in Venice. Come on, Switzerland, we've got tons of war score here. He's probably not satisfied until we have utterly butchered the enemy proper. And it's June. Next month that truce goes away. I'm just gonna... Okay, well, or it'll just go away now. Or it won't go away now. Oh, now this I would have done well to remember. He has friends. Memingren is one of them. Memingren doesn't have a lot to offer. He has Poland? Venice made some friends, I see. Poland's a bit big there. Hmm. I mean, I still wish to annihilate Venice. But Poland is pretty big. Oh, they're so close to dying themselves. Okay, if Poland says no, which they won't in a very short amount of time, then it's just knights, Memingren and Venice, and that's fine by me. So let's just keep an eye on that. <laughs> Poles. There we go. Just time it right. They're not interested. I could bring in the Pope, and it might be an idea, because I have a ton of favours with them, and I do intend on turning on them soon enough. I can't think of any particularly amazing reasons the Pope would want to join in. Uh, ooh, ooh, I wouldn't mind having the Knights as well. It is Orthodox, which is unfortunate. But I could subjugate them. But then the Ottomans... Oh, the Ottomans want Crete. If they want to fight me, they'll be fighting me and Hungary and uh, Castellaragon, Naples, which is kind of good. Yeah, I'm running out of good reasons not to just annihilate all of you. Looks pretty good to me. It means extra work to take the knights, so it might be a good idea to have the Pope in, uh, just in case. Just in case is a pretty good reason. Castile? No, I really want to make good use of the favours that I have with them. Call them into important wars. Have you seen that Hungary, Jake? Yeah, he's eating a lot of rebels right now. He'll sort it out, but just not right now. They probably came from Poland like all rebellions ever have. He doesn't want land, he just wants to join in, because everybody wants to destroy Venice. So I can't blame him. Let's get in on it whilst Poland is out of here. Oh, but let's not forget, let's make the Knights a co-belligerent. Since they have no friends at all. Let's declare war on the right person here. So, Knights co-belligerent, Papal States are invited. Let's do it. Oh, hello, Venice. And hello, Venice. Oh, what's this? Austria wants to fight as well. Mm, there are quite a lot of them there. There are a lot of them, sire. I mean, I'm the defender, which is kind of nice, but... This is less nice, you see. i got to take a river crossing and uh, fight him here, but I outnumber him. Uh, I outtech him. Yeah, I, I should annihilate him, even with my lack of... Uh, lack of morale. Let's take Crete. <laughs> Alright, so Provence is out. That should allow other people to get their... Uh, swing their units around. Save me from myself. You're running away, uh, but you're running too far away. My worry, if you can call it that, is that you meet up with Memongren, make something of an army, and give me a hard time, but my troops should be able to handle that. Would be better if I had my fleet back here to blockade it. 